Folks, welcome back to Nostalgianomics. Today we are going to tackle one of the most asked questions in all of my live stream chats. And that question is, Alex, can I invest in PSA 9s? And if I do, will I see the same growth as the PSA 10 counterpart in the same card? Spoiler alert, the answer is yes, you can. I actually made a video on this about a year ago. Now I get it. A lot of you watching the channel now were not following the channel over a year ago, so I thought I'd remake the video now instead of try to answer this question again and again in all of my live streams. I also want to preface this by saying it's not a rule. I'm not telling you every PSA 9 is going to outperform every PSA 10, but on the other side of that, it's also not a rule that PSA 10s are going to outperform PSA 9s, which I feel like we're told too much in this community, right? Older, rare, mint, or better is not always the way to go, right? The lower population cards, right? The PSA 10 is not always the way to go. It can be, but it's not a rule. And I'm going to prove that today with a lot of cards, both in modern and vintage, that have performed better before the boom, into the boom, into the biggest spikes, and after the boom in terms of total percentage gain value than the PSA 10 counterparts in the same card. Before we do that, though, I got to give a shout out to today's video sponsor because it's a sponsored giveaway. Low Popping, ladies and gentlemen, has sponsored the giveaway of a PSA 9 Crystal Guardians Charizard Hollow. Not the reverse hollow, the hollow version, all right? This card is about a $500 card market value right now, and we're giving it away 100% free shipping paid for. All you have to do to be included in this giveaway is one, obviously be subscribed to me and the Low Poppings YouTube channel. Okay, pretty easy. Links will be in the description below. Make sure to go and follow him on Instagram at lowpopping.market. And while you're there, guess what? They buy, sell, and trade. So if you see any cards they have on their Instagram, you can definitely buy them. If you want to trade for one, they can do that. And if you have any of your collection you would like to sell them, you could always reach out and they are buying as well. And the last thing you need to do is go follow their Discord. It's 100% free. The invite will be in the description. As long as you do those, those three things, three things, and leave a comment below, you will be entered in the giveaway. The reason you need to leave a comment below is we're going to use a random comment picker to pick the winner, and you're not going to be able to enter a million comments. So don't try that. I'm going to filter out duplicate, duplicate users. So you only get one comment. You can leave more if you want, but you only get one chance. And as long as you do those things, you can win the Crystal Guardians PSA 9 Charizard. So good luck to everyone out there. Make sure to enter the giveaway. All right. Here is the video I released over a year ago. It was called, Is Pokemon Investing in PSA 10s Really Better Than PSA 9s? The Truth. So you can go watch that one too if you want to. But I thought I'd redo that video today and update it with some newer cards and, and a different perspective as well. So first off, I want to answer the question of, why do you think PSA 9s can outperform 10s? Okay. One reason is liquidity, right? It's so much easier to find a buyer for a much cheaper card, right? So a lot of PSA 10s are in a, a larger pool of buyers, price range, and budget where a lot of the PSA 10s are not. Two, it can be a lot easier to find PSA 10s, especially as you get back into the older sets into vintage because PSA 10s aren't always in the market. And if they are, sometimes they're listed extremely high and you have to wait for an auction or you have to try to work a deal where PSA 9s are usually a lot more widely available. So a lot of people just buy the PSA 9s with the intention of maybe coming back later to fill their collection in with the PSA 10 copy. Um, the other reason is, is because, like I said, you can do a lot better percentage growth wise. You can, you can um, diversify more because you can buy more 9s, right? And you can get them diversified in more cards and instead of just get one high value 10. So there's a lot of reasons why PSA 9s um, can be moved into over PSA 10s. But let's see how the performance was. All right, you ready? First up, gimme Gengar Mimikyu Alt Art from Tat Team Up. All right. So here you go, way back here. All right. This is all the way back in 2019 before the boom. 5940 in a 10, 1550 as a nine. All right. We saw spikes in the 10 all the way up to 1618. We saw spikes in the 9 up to 562. And now we see the 10 sitting at 825-ish and the 9 sitting at 307-ish. All right. So let's go to the spreadsheet and look how that breaks down. All right. Gengar Mimikyu. Here you go. Original price, 5940, 1550. Current price, 824.50, 306.80. The peak price was 1618.75, 562.50. You'll see right here the percentage gains. It's not even close. 
So if you would have bought, let's say about four of these instead of 110, you would have absolutely crushed the gains in both the current price. Now, if you would have held or if you would have sold during the boom, then you would have made in the PSA 10s. It's right here. Look, I, I'm not trying to, to give you any type of uh, my own bias. I'm just putting data in front of you so you can make the best informed decision for yourself. PSA 10s are not always the best option. All right, let's look at another card. All right, let's look at Blastoise Pip Love GX Tag Team. All right, this is the alt art from Cosmic Eclipse. You'll see back here, you could have bought $69 for a PSA 10 or $18.50 in a PSA 9. All right, into the biggest spikes, we saw $420 and about $158.50. And then now it sits at $263.98. The 9 sits at $124.99. Let's see what that looks like. All right, original prices, all right, current prices, peak prices. You'll see right here. I mean, almost doubled, not quite, but almost doubled the percentage gain you could have seen in the 10 and the 9. And then we have a, a easily more during the, the peak price, too, in the 9 as the 10. Like It's not close, guys. I mean, it's, it's a lot higher disparity that you would have made in the 9 as the 10. And here's the other thing. You would have been able to diversify as well. You'd have been able to buy, like, you know, this card and this card and other cards than buying just one 10. And this goes into now, right? Some of the tens you can see are, you know, a thousand dollars from the nines are a hundred. Well, that means you can go buy like 10 different nines when you could only buy one 10 instead of putting your eggs all in one basket. And that's why I do like PSA nine. So let's keep looking at some others. Look at a waifu, right? The big waifu craze. All right. The Rosa back in 2020 was $41 and a nine, 185 is a 10. It spiked up to 744 and 326. And now it sits at 422 and 238. So let's go look at those numbers break down. All right. 185, 41 original price. Our current price, 422, 238, spiked up to 744, 326. You can see over double percentage gain growth in the nine and almost double into the peak percentage gain growth as a nine. Numbers are the numbers, people. I don't know what you want me to tell you. So let's keep going. I, it goes back. I, I got some, I got an XY and I got some uh, very old vintage cards as well after the Moonbrian. All right. Even the Moonbrian. Now, no, I'm not going to be unfair and take the peak prices. I'm going to be as fair as possible and take the absolute lowest price when it hit 540 as a 10 and 250 as a nine. All right. Fair. So into the spike, the 10 hit 1286, the nine hit, you know, in the 642. And then now the 10 sits around 775, the nine sits at about 533. So let's go see how that works out. Umbreon VMAX, 540, 250. All right. Current prices and the peak prices. You'll see the nine over doubled the performance. All right right now and into its peak prices the nine still outperformed the 10 even with all the hype the nine still did a little better eked out the 10 performance showing even with as high sky high population and availability as the moonbrion the nines can still prevail pretty crazy right it's pretty crazy to see the numbers on paper isn't it all right let's keep going now we'll go to xy for one and then we'll move back to vintage all right mega rayquaza ex from ancient origins all right secret rare i believe Back in 17, it was a $120 car. The nine was $21.55. It's currently at its peak price at $8.50. The nine is down at $195, and it peaked up at $495. So let's go look at how that breaks down. Well, $120, $21.50, could have bought it for in 2017. Rose up to $845 and $195. Now, again, still at its peak price. The nine peak price is $495. Absolutely crush it. I mean, almost 4x the growth. But even now, the nine still, even though the 10's at its peak price, the nine is still outperforming it percentage growth wise. All right. Next up, let's look at the Shining Gyarados. All right. Shining Gyarados Neo Revelation. 790 in a PSA 10 and 17, 122.50. All right. Peaked up to a whopping 11,450. The nine peaked up to about 2,394. And the 10 settled for 6,100. And now the nine is settling at about, what is it? 1,401. All right, let's go look. Let's go look how it did. First edition Shining Gyarados, 789.60, 122.50 back in 2017. 6,100 now, 1,401 now, which is a percentage gain of 1,149 over 7,73. The nine still outperformed. Even into the biggest spike of 11,450 in 2000, the nine still outperformed. You're saying, well, Alex, I would have rather made the 11,450 than the 2000. It's percentage gain, guys. You could have bought, what, four of these? No, sorry, four. You could have bought, what, seven? 
about seven of these almost six or seven say six you could have bought six of these or seven of these right and you would have had twelve to fourteen thousand dollars and you would have had a much more liquid card that a lot more people could have afforded right then having all your money wrapped up in one tent the nine still outperforms the last one i'm going to show is an aquapolis card the aquapolis crystal lugia all right Back in 17, you could have bought it for $800 in a, a 10 and 150, 150 as a nine. Now, real sale or not, I'm going to take it anyway, just for the sake of the numbers, $15,000 sale apparently in 2021. The nine had a $47, $70 sale. All right. Now the 10 sits at 9,500. The nine sits at 2,502. So even with that big spike into 15 grand, all right, 800 original price, 150, 150. This is current prices. These are the spike prices. The nine outperformed the 10 every step of the way, even in the crystal Lugia. Guys, I'm not trying to promote any bias here or any agenda. There are a lot of cards that perform better in a PSA 10. I'm not telling you to rush out and only buy PSA nines. What I'm telling you to do is be able to think for yourself, be able to evaluate each card as its own because just going with older, rare, mint, or better, or, oh, the tens have a lower pop report. They're going to be more sought after. It's not always the way things turn out. You need to be able to think critically and understand exactly why you're moving into which grade and understand what's going to be more sought after. What's, what are more customers going to be able to afford and go after in the future? What's going to be more available? Okay. Because here's the thing. I, I get you can see crazy jumps on PSA 10s, especially when they're very low pop and they're not available anywhere, right? Because if the right person wants it. But the problem is if that right person isn't there, the liquidity, right, of the PSA 9s will continue to carry you through even when you can't find those right buyers for the PSA 10. So uh, I don't know. It's good food for thought. That answers the question. Are PSA 9s investable and as investable as a PSA 10 when it comes to growth down the road? Well, the answer is yes. It just depends on the card. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, the links in the description for Low Poppins YouTube, Instagram, and Discord. Make sure to follow him on all of those socials. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment and you will be in the giveaway for the Crystal Guardians Charizard Hollow PSA 9. That's all I got today, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you did. Be back here in a new video soon. I'm out.